The company really came about from some research that was done at the Lawrence Livermore National Lab. They discovered really a phenomenon that if you use something called carbon nanotubes, people have heard about in other areas, but basically very, very small straws, uh, water flows through them pretty much without any back pressure at all. With these carbon nanotubes, the water goes through with virtually no resistance. So instead of having to make big pumps to push through and filter water now, you need very, very small pumps, very, very small amounts of energy to do the same amount of filtering you need to do. So desal, it turns out desal energy is the number one cost to take uh, salt out of water. So if you take that down, you can bring desal, cost of desal down very much lower. Mm -hmm. In addition, you can make the equipment a lot smaller so you can do desal in fields. So people, villages that don't have mm -hmm. clean water, that becomes more accessible to you rather than having to pull in a big truck full of desal equipment. Are you going to be targeting Middle Eastern countries, desert desert countries? Like how, how, do, you, how do you roll out a right. company yeah, like no, this? That's very good. <laughs> what, what you actually start with the water is the, the water we all use. Desal is actually the hardest thing to do, mm -hmm. but almost every water that we touch is filtered. Coca-Cola, mm -hmm. beer, uh, pharmaceuticals as water. So there's a whole bunch of areas that need filtered water. And that's what you use to build the scale, the high value applications. So then when you get to the broad rollout of desal, uh, it becomes a cheap, easy to do thing. And the one advantage of our technology is you have to use a lot less material. So in addition to not throwing away these massive cartridges right. every five years, you use a lot smaller cartridges. So it, you tend to have to use less, it's mm -hmm. easier to make, and you can roll it out. So that's the basic idea. Start with regular filtration, move to desal and then you're ready to go. And as far as where you, you, you really go after the existing desal plants. California has a lot of them. The Middle East has a lot of them, but uh, there's a lot more going in. China has a desperate mm -hmm. problem for water and we're, probably a lot of the new desals going there. So you'll end up wherever they go with the desal. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna make a filter cartridge. It's yeah, about this big. It just plugs into the existing one, replaces it. Mm -hmm. And then you turn the electricity down on your pumps and you just keep running the way oh, you were running. I read a recent piece about the uh, sort of it's like a coming war, but a coming battle in, in the Southeast in the United States where the you know for agricultural use there there's just not the yeah. water is not available so I, I imagine this could really help yeah, and you you bring up another interesting issue which is we throw away a lot of the perfectly good water we already pulled the water out of the ground we're just letting this thing go away so we're also looking at the back end and how you clean the water get it back to the thing and put it back into the system mm -hmm. as pure purified water again rather than letting it flow out and try to gather sure, it back right. Can you take take other compounds out with this technology? That's a very good question, and you, you actually can. So the so the the nanotubes do two things. One of which is because of their size, they exclude anything large. Mm -hmm. So they tend to be two nanometers in diameter, which is two times ten to nine, minus ninth meters. And you can you know we talked about how small it is, but most things that you don't want to exclude just by the size. So mm -hmm. for example, biologicals, viruses, bacteria, yeah. those are too big to go through. Right. So that right. by size works. Then what you can do is you can modify the entry to the straw effectively to selectively keep out other things. So if you make it positively charged, anything has a positive charge, like salts, mm -hmm. will be repelled away from the entry. So yes, you can modify it to take out, for example, pharmaceuticals in a waste stream. You can make it selectively push away pharmaceuticals so you don't get the pharmaceuticals flowing wow. out into the water. Uh